I'm gonna show you how to install and remove the insert from the Zeo Beacon and it's gonna blow your mind. Stick around. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. I wanna go over our best practices for installing and removing an insert in the Zeal Beacon specifically. I will say this method is pretty similar across all of the goggles with our inserts in the goggles. But I mean, if you have the beacon, then you're here, it's targeted, it works really well. If you are here and you don't have the insert already and you don't even know what you're watching, well, hey, guess what? If you wear prescription and you like snow goggles, this is an amazing solution to the problem of trying to either jam your glasses inside a goggle and maybe even break them or scratch them or wreck them or suffer contacts which can dry out and make your day shorter because you want to take them out of your head. This is a really, really good solution. They fit well inside of the goggles. They work fantastically well optically and give you really the widest field of vision that you could possibly have with a prescription lens really outside of contacts. But we already talked about why contacts aren't perfect. If you are interested in this, uh, stick around for a little longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button and you can order these and I'm going to go into really quickly how you install and remove it. So stick around. So with the beacon, it is a little bit of uh, more finessing, I would say, than your typical goggle insert going inside of a goggle. Uh, we do have one of our alternate fit inserts here because the inside of this goggle is a little bit smaller. And so there is a little more finesse, like I mentioned. Still the same approach. I like to start with putting the nose in first and then you bend those prongs down and maybe kind of have to uh, flex the goggle foam up a little bit so it fits in there. But what you want to make sure of is in the bottom, because it's really narrow in that nose bridge, that in the bottom here, those prongs are actually in that channel between the foam and the lens because they might be outside of that channel. Once you get it in the channel, it shouldn't come out but you just need to make sure that it does get in there. And then I usually like to wiggle it around a little bit just to center it as much as I can to make sure that it is in the ideal position. When you are ready to remove the insert, it's just as simple as one finger pressing down on the top of the nose bridge portion of the insert, and then you just pull it out toward you. And then it comes out nice and easily outside of maybe getting caught up on the prongs a little bit. So be a little bit careful, but really just a matter of pulling it out. So downward force and then pull it out and then you've done it. Congratulations. So that wraps it up for our best practices for insert insertion and removal in the Zeal Beacon specifically. If again, this is your first time seeing this insert and you wear prescription, I would recommend very much you looking into this. If you are interested in buying from Sporter X, do not forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something you don't like or doesn't work for you. You have 45 days with them to figure that out. We just want you to be happy with what you get. So we will take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Thank you again for watching. I hope this is exactly what you were looking for. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. Again, if you're ready to shop any of these styles, you can click this button right here. If you're looking for more content to consume as we all are these days, check us out on our social media outlets. I I think you'll like it. That's the only reason I recommend it.